Hello, this is Otis Collier, your personal branding coach. And the title of this training video is Where's Your Email? Now, if you've been following me for any length of time, you know how I'm a big fan of LinkedIn and I think LinkedIn is extremely important. I was on a phone earlier this morning with a recruiter friend of mine and we were talking about LinkedIn and I was telling him that one of my frustrations with LinkedIn is that when people create their profile, they often don't leave their email address on their profile so that I as a recruiter can actually contact them. Now there's some other services that allow me to do that. There's a tool called LinkedIn for recruiters and other tools, but what about the recruiter who just can't afford that or the recruiter who doesn't have that particular tool? What I'd like to share with you is how to include your email address on your LinkedIn profile so that recruiters can get in contact with you should they find your profile interesting and should they be interested in offering you a job opportunity. Now, let's take a look at my profile first. And what you'll notice is, is that on my profile, you'll see my name. Uh, below my profile, you'll see summary. Below that, you'll see my reading list. You'll see WordPress, some things that I've said on my WordPress blog. You'll see some files that I have available for people to download. And then you'll get into the my experience. And then below my experience, you'll find education as well as my recommendations. And so I'm going to scroll through because I've got a lot of recommendations here. Below my recommendations, you will see additional information such as my website, link to my Twitter account, groups and associations that I belong to. Below that, personal information. And then down at the very bottom, you'll see contact settings. Now, I notice that a lot of individuals don't utilize or don't fill this content out. But what you'll see under my contact settings, I've listed this and I've said, open for considering all career opportunities if there's a great fit. Travel is never an issue and telecommuting is my preferred method for employment. I'm also available for speaking engagements and I have my email address as well as my phone number and then I've got some bullet points on some things that, um, that I'm interested in. So what I want to do is I want to share with you first of all how to update this and then also show you how to position it better even better than what I have here. So what I'm going to do is I want to share with you a profile of a friend of mine. His name is Jim Strout and Jim and I are connected on the first degree. So he's a good friend of mine. We're connected on the first degree. Folks that you're connected with on your first degree, you can actually see their email address. So I'm going to scroll through Jim's profile here. And what you're going to see is off to the right hand side, you see contact information and you'll see that I have his email address and his phone number. Now I've blurred out his phone number for protection purposes so that Jim doesn't get a bunch of phone calls. But um, Jim did say that I could share his email address. So here's Jim's email address uh, on his profile. But I can see that because I'm connected to him on my first degree. So what if I'm looking for someone as a recruiter that I'm not connected with on my first degree? That means that I don't see your email address. I don't see your phone number. And so you want the recruiter, you want the person that's trying to get in contact with you to see that information. So let me share with you um, what that would look like. So I'm over at LinkedIn again. I'm going to do an advanced search. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an example of someone who I'm not connected to directly and I'm going to look for someone that's within my third degree and we'll run that search so these are people that I'm not directly connected with so there's about 178,000 results that come back and we're going to take a look here at Dave Dave is a contract recruiter at Freddie Mac alright so Dave's a contract recruiter at Fer Freddie Mac he and I are three degrees away from one another if you scroll off to the right hand side you'll see that Dave does not have a phone number or email address that I can see because I'm not directly connected to him. And even if I go down to the bottom of his profile page, we'll see his contact settings and he doesn't have anything there either. So if I was interested in contacting Dave about a career opportunity, it'd be very difficult for me to do so because I don't have any contact information to reach out uh, to contact him about. Now, 
one other thing that you'll notice here and that I saw here, and there's another person's profile, Michelle. I'm going to click on her profile. You'll notice that she's listed her email address in her name field. And I used to teach people how to do this. You go into your uh, profile and you edit your profile and where it has last name, you type your last name and then you put in brackets your email address. Now, I taught that a couple of years ago and there was some some discussion around whether or not this is what LinkedIn intended for people to do with their profile. And so following the LinkedIn rules and guidelines, I stopped teaching that and I actually removed that from my profile and I started using my contact information down in the contact settings. So if we look at Michelle and scroll down to the bottom of her profile, you'll see that she's included her email address here but it's not in the contact settings so you won't necessarily see it if you're not connected to her uh, in the first degree on the contact settings but what she did is she included included it in her name so I'm going to show you the proper way of actually doing this so we're back at my profile and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit my profile so we'll click on edit profile that will allow me to edit different components of my profile and I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom again and under contact settings you can click edit and when you click edit this is where you can include this paragraph of information along with your email address and phone number so I'm going to go ahead and click edit and this box comes up okay so here under contact settings um, you can check off the different opportunities that you prefer and what advice would you give to users considering contacting you well, here's the advice that I gave them along with how to contact me. And so this is the appropriate place to actually put your contact information. Once you do that, you can click Save Changes. Now, what we're going to do is go back to our profile and we'll click on Edit Profile. Once we're on our profile, we'll scroll to the bottom. And now what I want to do is instead of having my contact information at the very bottom, having to scroll through all of that data, I want my contact settings to be at the top of my profile. LinkedIn has this little uh, X marker here where you can just hover over it, left click your mouse and you can drag and you can drag this information. So I'm going to drag this information all the way to the top. Okay, so what I've done is I've dragged my contact settings just below my summary. So you'll see summary then contact settings and I have my contact settings and then the rest of my profile will be there so if I wanted to view my profile as others would see it I'll click on view my profile and now when I scroll I have my summary and then right below my summary is my contact information now I left off my phone number so I'll need to go back in and clean that up but you'll see my contact settings directly below my summary and then below my summary is the rest of the information along with my profile this is Otis Collier, your personal branding coach. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found value in this training session.